very good afternoon to all of you uh, welcome to the video number 553 my name is Ajay Parmar you are watching youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Parmar which is my channel name which is your channel and uh, today we are going to talk something really very exciting as you can see on the screen I'm going to tell you today how you can use the VLOOKUP not just once not just twice but you can go ahead and use three VLOOKUPs in a single formula using the error handler if error function this is going to be the fantastic exercise and this is a question you know which uh, you may come across in your excel interview as well somebody like me if i am going to take your interview trust me if i am going to take your interview on the advanced level i want to check your advanced knowledge in the excel definitely this question i'm gonna put up so let's go ahead and uh, watch this video and yes you should be knowing the basics of the vlookup and basics of the error handler but no worries if you are just a beginner you want to understand more about the VLOOKUP you want to understand more about the if error function please go and check out my playlist excel VLOOKUP and match this is the playlist and uh, I, I, I can show you there are many many playlists which I have created for you so that when you start your learning on excel excel VBA access or access VBA you can go ahead and you know follow this particular sequence this is the sequence I share in my every video so please go ahead and watch all these playlists in this specific sequence when you click on any of the playlist please if you get their 10 videos 15 videos you know you'll you'll uh, get all the videos in the form of video number in the title do not go by the uh, the name uh, by the number of the video the videos are already synchronized they are already placed there in the proper order so just go and watch the, the you know the sequence you're getting there don't change the sequence okay and this is the playlist i was talking about excel vlookup and match go and learn it from there if error vlookup match all the things you can do because this is going to be the advanced level video now this is the question in front of you now what we are supposed to do in every sheet you have a data like this is a data one this is a data two and this is a data three i have kept it very short obviously but the concept remains same many people you know they come in my trainings and they ask me that uh, they want to do the practice on the big data right it doesn't make any difference guys you use 10 rows you use thousand rows you you go ahead and use one million rows the concept remains the same if you know the concept if you know how you can play with the formulas how you can handle the formulas how you can make the complex formulas you know everything you leave it to the excel because excel is going to do the calculation not you so data size does not matter it's just a kind of a you know we have a just data phobia you know we, we just get scared when, when we look the files full of the different you know uh, full of the uh, the rows and the columns you know you have so many columns coming there so many rows so you know we kind of get uh, scared there no it is not like that right so now I have uh, all the data here you can see all the employee IDs are different uh, all the names are different now what we are supposed to do in this exercise is that this is these are your employee IDs and we do not know which employee ID is in which sheet but we want to find it out their name and uh, one thing which I want to put here as a disclaimer that uh, this is specifically for for that scenario where you'll find these employee IDs in all the sheets I'm not here to talk about what if this there's some employee ID which is not available in any of the sheet right that's a different thing here we are assuming that all these employee IDs there but uh, some of the employee IDs are in data 1 some of the employee IDs are in data 2 and data 3 so how are you going to do that okay now I'm going to tell you this VLOOKUP um, uh, with the name manager uh, what I will do instead of me going in every sheet you know data 1 and data 2 because you know this is how VLOOKUP works let us do one thing let us act little smart you know just go and select this entire table and go in the name box and write the name of that table so let's say I want to refer this table as table 1 okay or maybe anything just press enter make sure you come back here and see that if it is created this is how we can refer to the table one now now table one refers to d3 to d8 similarly guys go here in the data two now maybe as i said that you can select this and you can go here and you can write here you know uh, let's say the data, uh, table two this is the one method press enter and the table two is created there's another method which I'm going to show you what you can do you can also go to the formula tab control F3 
Control F3 is the shortcut key to go to the name manager just in case if you want to use the control F3 Okay, so if I go and uh, you know press the control F3 see what is going to happen This window will pop up and this is the same window my friends which you get under the formula tab name manager Right, so here you can see the tables which we have created if I click on the table 2 and I want to see where it is You know this table 2 refers to what I click here and you can see that it has taken me to the data 2 sheet and it is highlighting this this is this means that you have done the job perfect you have done the correct job okay you have selected the table perfectly now in this case i go and create a new and i write here table 3 and uh, then this table 3 actually refers to what so i just remove this and i go to the data 3 sheet and then select this you know so i click okay now why i'm doing that because now table 1 table 2 table 3 all are created and uh, now instead of when i when i use the vlookup here I will not go in those sheet. I will directly refer, uh, you know, refer to these tables. You can see they have, they are created. This is how we work with the name managers. This is how we work with the name ranges. This is a beautiful option when you work with the different different data. So now the first thing which I will do is obviously I use the VLOOKUP and we will go ahead and find out this double three. Now I'm going to find out this double three in table one, table two, table three. I can start from any table, but I'll start here from the table one. Now look at this. This is the beauty of this name manager. I'm not even going in the data one because I have created the name managers and that table one already refers to data one sheet and you know in there it refers to some particular range which I showed you, right? So we just go and write it. So it, it's actually a fun, you know, it's so easy for me to refer to the name managers like this right so i go and pick up the second column because i know and i press enter now guys you know that i got the table i got the answer now because this is a table one you don't even have to freeze this okay now when you drag this you get the a b because 33 and 44 are available here right so we got it but what about the you know 300 that is not there so we get the error but 300 might be in data 2 or data 3 you know 300 is available here so what to do in that case well if you get the error while using this vlookup like in this case we are getting that means your formula should not stop there you should go and then use the another vlookup and that you should use in the data 2 sheet or maybe table 2 right so how are you gonna do that well we will go here in this function and we will simply say if error what is the if error if error is a function which let you know that if the error is going to come when you use the formula then what you're supposed to do if the error doesn't come this value parameter will be executed and the formula will stop but if the error comes then you go and press comma and you use in the value if error so what do you want to do well then i want to further go and use look up the same value look up the same employee id in the table called uh, table 2 i go and use the table 2 and then 2 comma 0 fantastic right because if the error comes then it should go and it should actually pick up the id look up this employee id from the table 2 which is in the data 2 sheet now when i drag this you see that you now start getting z t and here also we have a t okay so maybe i have i have written the same employee id that's okay but you see that guys you're understanding what is happening we are now here we have this 300 as uh z so are we getting the correct value yes we are getting the correct value okay and uh, just in case if i change this to maybe let's say um, 600 let me put it here 600 you find that i change it and i'll get the value perfect what is happening you're using the error handler you're seeing that first we go and use the vlookup in the data one if the value comes very nice the formula will stop there but if that value is going to be you know give us the error what do you mean by the error that means obviously the value will uh, the lookup is not there that's why the formula returns the error if the formula returns error then you want to go to the value if error right so here this is how the vlookup is going to pick up the you know now start looking up in the table two now the point is what if the value is not available in table two also right so in that case what you will do let me delete that like in this case you know 700 is showing error then guys you further go and say that if this we look up which you have written in the value error you just go and write here one more if error you say that if this we look up which is happening in the table 2 if this also returns the error if this returns the error then let's go and write in this value if error now this value if error parameter belongs to this if error not to this if error because this if error actually this is the value if error parameter of you know this value if error this entire value if error parameter belongs to this if error and 
this now the value of error which we're going to write this belongs to this if error right this is how the system happening so we're going to write here one more we look up and i again say that if my table 2 also if I, if we are not able to find any value from the table 2 then let's go and pick up that you know look up the same employee id in the table 3 so that's how i can write the table 3 2 comma 0 and now i just go and press enter and now we should be able to see all the values you know wonderful so that's how you can see that you got the value of this 700 which is u u and you got the value here right so this is how it works now i'm gonna repeat it first we said that look up in the table one and you know the table one refers to the data sheet right data one sheet you may like to use without the name managers you can use that that's not the problem you can go to the data one data two data three sheet and select the table but this is i think the convenient way right so this is very intelligent step you can simply go and write start writing the table names so, so this is a useful tip i wanted to give you if this if we are not able to find f4 in the table one the error comes if the error comes then we have said that for this if error you start go and you know work on this parameter now in this parameter again you have one more if error so what will happen this will start looking up in the table two table uh, this vlookup will start working on the table 2 and if this table 2 returns some value very nice the formula will stop there but if this table 2 also returns the error then we have the another parameter now the question is obvious what if i write here something which is not available anywhere okay so let's say i write here 98 you know that 98 is not available in any of the sheet now what to do well as I said that uh, this is not the uh, topic I mean I'm gonna discuss but and since I have talked about it let me just complete it now finally you know if after doing all these things you're getting the error that only means that the uh, you know you're not uh, gonna get any value you're not gonna get any name because it's not there now it is not there so finally you can also go ahead and put the entire function in the if error again and you say that just space or maybe whatever you want to do and you now when you drag this you will find that you know it's not no way it's 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 coming as a space okay or maybe you can write here that uh, not found anywhere you know that's how it is guys okay so if i just copy this function and paste it back here you i can show you that if i just go and change something here you can see that these all numbers you know it keeps on showing you the not found not found okay so this is the function in front of you you can go and check out this function let me just maximize it and now you can see this function i hope uh, you have enjoyed this video as much as i did while recording it for you this question was um, taken up by one of my personal trainings so i thought let me share it with you thank you so much guys and do subscribe do like the video and uh, let us meet in the next video and talk something really exciting thank you so much bye bye